Someone once asked me about how can we get the menu item to open in a new tab. Usually when you have menu items and you click on a link, it replaces that tab and takes you to a new page or post or whatever. But what if one of your menu items is a custom link and it doesn't have to be a custom link. It could be a page or a post as well, or even the shop, but you don't want it to replace the current tab. You want it to go to or open a new tab. So the other tab, the original one that you were on, maybe it's your homepage is still there because maybe the tabs serve different functionality. You know, it could be a subdomain. It's a feature that's been in WordPress a while, but it's actually quite hidden away and a lot of people aren't aware of it. Let's pretend I've got a menu item in my menu. By the way, this is something that you could do with, say, a mega menu or you could build out your menu structure. But what if you just want to use your current menu here? You don't want to have to go and build a secondary structure or anything like that. This is how you do it. So let's just take this case studies one as an example. This is an actual page. It could be a custom link as well. It could be whatever you want. When you go over here, you can change the navigation level. You can decide if it's got like a parent or not menu order. There's, there's stuff you could do, right? But what you can't do is go and say open in a new tab. The feature is not there. And you might go, well, okay, we've got to drop in a code snippet, a bit of code here and there. No, this is all you have to do. And I bet a lot of you are going to go and try this out now. What you do is scroll up until you get to screen options. Yeah, none of us like screen options, right? We get so fed up of how many items we have. But as soon as you do that, there is an item over here called link target. Did you know you got CSS classes as well? So you could give a menu item a CSS class. I'm actually just going to enable that because I think you do need to take account of this. I'm going to click link target. That's the one we want to focus on for the video, but CSS class is there as well. Let's go back over. Let me just hit save menu. You now have an option for open link in a new tab. It's always been there. But when I say always been there, it's been there for a very long time. And many people aren't aware of it. I haven't spoken about this because it's not something I would traditionally do. But let's just say you had something in there that said Facebook, maybe. Do you want it to completely replace the current tab or do you want to open it in a new tab? So hopefully they still look at the original tab because maybe you want them to subscribe, make a purchase or convert a lead or take some interest into your website. So that is what you do. But we also have this new option over here called class. So if I was to call this case underscore studies, I could now go and write a bit of CSS, stick it somewhere, and it will style that menu item. How many times have you gone, well, I want one of my menu items to be a different color, and then some of us and other people have popped out codes, or someone has said, stick this code snippet in, and then you go, oh, do I really fully understand it? If you're okay with CSS, and don't forget, we've got a course on that as well and stuff, you go and go over to our website and join and sign up. But if you go and give it a class name, you can now write some CSS to do that. But obviously, the focus of this video was about opening a link in a new tab. The option is there. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. <laughs>